Greetings, you're with the Band of Words for Christ for John Scott Valley Chapter, and we're going to go through a five-minute Bible study here. Um, John Winthrop, City on a Hill, we we'll examine a little bit. Now, the only way to avoid the shipwreck and to provide for our posterity is to follow the counsel of Micah. And that uh, you you can find the book of Micah in the Old Testament, and read one through seven um, chapters, and that's the homework. So Micah, one through seven. First chapter through the seventh chapter. <clears throat> Too justly, <clears throat> Micah six eight, he hath showed thee, O man, what is good, and doth what does the Lord require of thee, but to do justly and love mercy and walk humbly with our God. Uh, end of verse. To love mercy to walk humbly with our God. For this end we must be knit together in His work as one man. Judges twenty eight eleven. So all the men of Israel were gathered against the city, knit together as one man. Colossians two two. That our hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love, and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding through the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and the Father of Christ. God, and of the Father, and of Christ. Colossians 2.19 And not holding the head from which the body, by the joints and bands, having, having nourished, ministered, knit together, increasingly, increases with the increase of God. And we'll skip on down to another spot here, where it says, Each brother in brotherly affection. And say each other in brotherly affection. First John three sixteen. Here pride perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. And we'll skip on down here to the very end. Um let's go to Okay, we'll start at uh, we'll start first of all we'll uh, we'll examine his summary of his speech. Let's look at that. That we let's see. Therefore let us choose life, that we in our seed may live by obeying his voice and cleaving to him, for he is our life and our prosperity. And then we're going to look at the way the way Christ um, talks about that in the Bible. Um, speaking through Paul, he writes in Romans, Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? Is it, it is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather that is risen again, even who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh, maketh intercession for us. Little children, these things are right unto you, that ye sin not. And if man, any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David, and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it, with judgment and with justice from henceforth, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. And a conclusion reminder. Therefore let us choose life, that we and our seed may live, by obeying his voice and cleaving to him. Praise our life and our prosperity. And that's basically it for the Bible study tonight. Have a good evening. God bless you. The peace of Jesus be with you.